I was a, a, the driver of the tank, and I also later on I volunteered for a commando group. But still driving a tank, a commando group were just for our company, or even a, a part of the battalion might have been uh, involved. When we were ordered to go somewhere in combat, our commanding officers wanted to know what the Germans had. So this group were seven of us. We would use a, a wheel vehicle, not a track vehicle, because they're too noisy. We use a wheel vehicle and go as close to the German lines as possible. And at one time, when past the German lines, there was the, the second battle we had at Kasserine Pass. And they wanted to know what the Germans had behind their lines, because our army was uh, going to take that pass back, Kasserine pass back, at all cost. So they knew that were gonna, Germans were going to retreat. So they wanted to know what was behind the lines. On the way back, we got, we got captured. Because the big, biggest reason we got captured it's because that we had to radio back whatever we found. And that's strictly a no-no when you go on a reconnaissance like that. But they had to know what they had. You send a, a message back, the Germans can receive it also. There's no way to block their radios. So they know that we were somewhere in the vicinity. You do what you gotta do in combat. You you can let uh, you cannot let your uh, your heart dictate you. You can't. It's impossible. Well, you know, you know the, the one of the training officers said, if you don't do it to them, they're gonna do it to you. So make it them. Save yourself. And that sticks in your mind. <laughs>